This morning, it's Bon Voyage, the world's largest cruise ship, Royal Caribbean's icon of the seas, welcoming passengers and setting sail. It's just been a dream come true to be part of the inaugural passengers. Thousands of passengers sailing aboard the 1,200 foot long, 20 deck high floating city. And though the vessel is headed to the Caribbean, this ship, well, it's a destination on its own. It comes as major cruise lines still try to rebound from their massive revenue losses during the COVID-19 pandemic and several norovirus outbreaks across cruise lines in 2023, rolling out new features and concepts to attract future cruisers. And look, Royal Caribbean isn't the only cruise line looking to make waves. The voyages themselves are getting longer. Villa V Residences offering a three and a half year long cruise and Princess has a three month cruise that set sail this month. And then there's this nine month ultimate world cruise that's traveling to 60 countries and taking TikTok by storm. Day in the life, day three at sea. The hype comes as cruising makes a comeback with global cruising expected to grow nearly 20% through the year 2028. The cruise industry as a whole rebounding faster from the pandemic than international tourism, according to cruising.org. We are seeing bookings higher than ever. We are seeing interest in cruising higher than ever. If you are thinking about your summer vacation now, it is not too early to book. You are likely to get the best rates you're going to see.